the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's hopes of being entirely independent of Buckingham Palace were cut short by the Queen and the Prince of Wales, an insider has claimed. Harry and Meghan, who last week unveiled plans to create their own household when they swap Kensington Palace for Frogmore House, were reportedly held back by the senior royals who feared the couple would just go off and do their own thing. A source told The Sunday Times, they wanted their household to be entirely independent of Buckingham Palace, but were told no. There is an institutional structure that doesn't allow that kind of independence. The feeling is that it's good to have the Sussexes under the jurisdiction of Buckingham Palace, so they can't just go off and do their own thing. Kensington Palace and Buckingham Palace declined to comment when contacted by mail online. It emerged last week that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are to have their own household, in a split from William and Kate's royal personnel. The Queen has agreed to the creation of a household for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and given permission for it to be based at Buckingham Palace, where the couple may also have their own apartment, meaning the couple's court stops short of the total royal freedom they reportedly envisaged. The new household is likely to be created following the birth of the couple's first child expected in late April. Princes Harry and William remain joint patrons, with their wives, of the Royal Foundation, the primary charitable body for the Cambridges and Sussexes. This means the two couples could still work together on big projects like their Heads Together mental health campaign. The two couples have faced rumors of a rift in recent months but there is no indication the latest changes are the result of any such disagreements. Buckingham Palace announced the development in a statement, saying, The Queen has agreed to the creation of a new household for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, following their marriage in May last year. The household, which will be created with the support of the Queen and the Prince of Wales, will be established in the spring. The Duke of Sussex currently has his own private office, which has been supporting the Duchess since their Royal Highness's engagement in November 2017. This long-planned move will ensure that permanent support arrangements for the Duke and Duchess's work are in place as they start their family and move to their official residence at Frogmore Cottage. The Sussexes and Cambridge's current communications head Jason Knopf will stay with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, but become their senior advisor. His responsibilities will include advising on their charitable initiatives, including work on the environment, mental health, and early childhood and supporting a review of the charitable structures that underpin their work. Christian Jones has taken over as communications secretary to William and Kate. The shake-up comes as Harry and Meghan prepare for their move away from Kensington Palace to Frogmore Cottage on the Windsor Castle estate. It looks out onto the stunning grounds of Frogmore House, which Harry and Meghan chose as the location for their formal engagement photo shoot. The cottage is just 200 yards from the publicly accessible Long Walk, meaning it will require upgrades to ensure the couple's privacy and security. As part of the dramatic shake-up, Harry and Meghan have named high-flying PR guru Sarah Latham, who has worked for Bill and Hillary Clinton, as their new dedicated head of communications. Ms. Latham, believed to be a British-American dual citizen, worked in the White House in the Bill Clinton era as an assistant to the president. She also served as an advisor for Hillary Clinton's failed 2016 presidential campaign, according to her online CV. In addition she was recruited into British politics in 2005 to help Tony Blair's Labour Party in that year's general election campaign. Subsequently she worked for Labour MP Tessa Joel, who was then Culture Secretary and responsible for planning the London Olympics.